Welcome, everyone. We are at a standstill for the second, but hey, it's Wednesday. It's session two. That means it's a one life operation from squad ups. Tonight, we got Operation Power Surge on Balea. We're going to be getting the Russians versus the militia. And uh, the militia forces tonight are going to be taking over some some of the radio towers and setting up some explosive devices to take these radio towers out. And the Russian forces are going to be moving in so that they can stop this explosion from going over and cutting the power to their power base, I guess you would say, and, you know, basically causing mayhem. And um, it's me, Wilbur, and tonight I'm with Killer Man Time. How you doing, Killer? Slowly taking over everything. <laughs> Slowly but surely taking over everything. Doing a bang out job on it. I'm uh, I'm really liking the things that you're coming up with. Can't wait to see some more of it. But uh, we'll go over to the loadouts for tonight real quick. For the uh, Russian side, they're going to be getting one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one LAT, one Medic. Uh, vehicles will be getting three Logis and one Trans Truck. No FOBs tonight and no command support coming in for the Russian forces. What about over there on the militia side? Uh, for the militia side, we're uh, looking at one SL, two FTLs, one AR, and one medic for their infantry vehicles. They're allotted one trans techie, and for FOB and logistics, they get an explosive package, one radio, and no other structures or rifle sandbags. And that's no. pretty much yeah. it. Yeah, last minute change, they are going to be getting two FTLs on the uh, militia side. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to update that that layer for you guys. Uh, here's a here's a picture of what the operation map is going to be looking like. You see up there in the northeast corner of the Russian forces where they're going to be starting, and you see that green dotted line going across. That is the power lines that are on Balea, and the Russian forces are going to have to pick two of those positions, either on the east or either on the west side, and we'll know before that before we go live of where generally where they're going to be putting those explosive devices on those power lines and for tonight the commands uh starting out on the russian side we got lawn darts in command welcome to have him back his 2ic is going to be razor following out the rest of his sls is going to be fulcrum nuclear potato and rubber pelican how about the militia well for the militia we're looking at ethel as the uh as their command, with his 2IC being not an NSA spy, uh, along with his three other SLs being Wayne Newton, Seabass, and Raggy. I think I need to start putting some spaces between not an NSA spy. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of yeah. N's and A's all with each other. All right, guys, welcome to Operation Power Search. My name is Lawn Dots. I have the pleasure of being your commander this evening. We have Razor, Roba, Fulcrum, and Nuclear Potato as our very able squad lead. Um, this will be Nuclear's first time squad leading an operation, so uh, I know that's going to be uh, exciting for him. So I hope you have a good time with it, uh, Nuclear. In terms of our uh, command structure, uh, Razor will be 2IC, and then we'll just go in uh, squad lead order, uh, Robo, Fulcrum, and, and Nuclear if I happen to. Uh, meet an untimely demise. So our mission tonight um, is as follows. We've gained intel that militia forces are placing explosives along the power lines in Balea. So if you open your map, those uh, potential power lines on the east side have been marked with the uh, skull and crossbones. It's our mission to, uh, to find where those explosives are because they've been ransoming uh, their detonation for money. So we need to uh, stop them from getting those funds because they'll only use them to uh, buy more explosives and just repeat the process. All right, the way we're going to be moving is uh, two squads dismounting at the bridge in Gulf 4 and two squads dismounting in Echo 6. Uh, squads 1 and 2 will be the uh, northern element and squads 3 and 4 will be out in the west. Uh, we'll then uh, get into position and basically proceed to sweep the area, again, looking for the uh, explosives. The explosives are in the uh, shape of a FOB radio. All right, are there any questions? All right, excellent. Have fun, guys. Um, they've got really good camo for this uh, environment. Make sure you're uh, working with your buddy peers and listening to your fight team leaders. All right, squad leaders, break them out. All right, is everyone here? Yeah, everyone's here. Perfect. 
squad. Squad 3, your squad lead is already at location. He's scouting it out, so he'll be joining him soon. Got you, okay. Platoon brief, I, guys. I, I, I slept Come on for a platoon brief. And then I got a headache it's... when I woke up. Yeah, yeah please. We got a minute and a half. Can't right. sleep too long, bro. Late squad is the best. Oh, yeah, we did. Yep. So we'll do we'll wipe this up quickly. All right. So you guys see the radios east and west of us. These are explosive packages. We have been tasked with placing down on timers. Um, and your engineers are going to set them up. We need to buy them the precious few minutes they need to set them up. And uh, the local forces, the official forces, are obviously not down with that. They're going to they're going to intervene and try to take us out and defuse the packages. Now, in order to defend those packages, we have two squads on each one. That is, Seabass's uh, squad on Seabass's uh, squad and Raggy's squad. They will be holding the uh, towers themselves and the ridge line, which is natural defensive ground. And slightly off point, the northwest and the northeast, we will have NSA on the northeast and Wayne on the northwest. The idea is we can get some very efficient crossfire between those four positions due to the elevated location and the fact that the natural terrain is the village here. So ideally, uh, the op four pushes into the valley and we ambush them either to the east side, the west side, or ideally between both of us. Five. Any questions? Good? Okay, let's go. Right, my no guys, one the Magano west. line shall That's not fall. Uh, everybody go west. It shall not. Alright, here we are. We're live with round one of Operation Power Surge. We got the Russian forces starting to move south. We got uh, two platoons that are be going to the northern side bri northern bridge, and then two platoons going to the most south western bridge. And I think it's uh, the militia can't build up any defensive structures. I think they probably no. they do not have, have access. Yeah, they don't have access to anything barbed wire, um, sandbags. They have no access to it. So they have to use the terrain to their advantage. Yeah, it kind of makes it difficult for them. I, I'm, I'm just, I, I, that's my point of view. That's my feeling. I mean, I, I would at least give them, like, sandbags. Well, there's upsides and downsides to using emplacements like that. The upside to not using it is they, the enemy forces don't know where you are. They can't, they don't know where you've placed things. Oh. The downside is they don't have cover wherever they set up. They have to rely on the natural terrain. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's a really good point. Like, because a lot of times when they're spotting out these fobs, they're looking for sandbags and defensive structures. And if there are none, they just got to look for people and radios and hope that they find them. Yeah, and it looks like the militia has even their divvy up between the two points and have taken the extended ridges on both sides of the town. Not too shabby. I honestly, I would have chosen the choice to have, if they had the choice to have, um, uh, you know, sandbags and barbed wire, just to make it a little easier. I wouldn't really care if the enemy forces knew where you were, um, but that's just me. I like I like building things. Yeah, <laughs> I like building things and hiding behind them. And I think. They're confused which oh nope they found they figured it out which bridge they're going to. They didn't want to ride through tunnels. I'm hoping that those militia forces didn't hear these lodges going down south. Come on, we're leaving them on this side of the river, correct? I'm hoping too. It doesn't look like they've adjusted to count for it, so They do have Nightmare on Lookout, though. So, they yeah. might not get in too close without being spotted. Yeah, I, don't, I think Russia has the advantage for camo-wise, at least on this map. Um, insurgents kind of stick out a little. Just a, just a little bit. Not You mean militia? 
Yeah, militia. <laughs> militia. Sticks I don't know. The militia, the militia's camo is not bad. It pretty, it blends in pretty good with the uh, greenery. Except for that tracksuit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Nothing like uh, free advertisement for Adidas. Oh, yeah. command for squad four keeping an eye on the russian forces mill still doesn't know Build where they four. are i'm assuming yeah nuclear i want you pretty much still uh, keeping a full 360 in every direction there are thereabouts in fulcrum you'll be uh, operating within the uh six row uh it does not look row. like militia is even sending out probes they're keeping it pretty tight up with their uh positions uh, the furthest out I've got from their defensive points is, looks like Seneca has a little four-man team pushing out northeast, east, which isn't going to catch anything for the Russian side. Yeah, we got a, a Russian force, the two squads, they're pushing down pretty far south of the they're getting on the radio towers down here on the south side and i think they're just going to push along them and using the high ground from each tower to tower to see where the fob is definitely yeah looking up to the north i think uh that northern russian squad is going to be in contact at least within the next 10 minutes yeah, that could be possible. Let's slide over and see. They might end up going parallel with that uh, southwestern portion of the militia forces. They are not headed straight for them. Oh, yeah, on that, on that ridge line. Who's the sneaky militia with Binox? Oh, not up in the front. And there's... And there's so much foliage around here. Um, it just makes it so difficult to spot things in a distance. It looks like the Russian forces are holding for the second. At least a couple of them. The rest are still pushing southwest. Yeah, good copy. My uh, directed command is not working for some reason on my keyboard. Roger. Still no engagements. Where's that other Russian force to the southwest? Oh, they are far out there checking on the other position. Command for squad one. Go ahead, command. Right, uh, Razor, I need you to, if you can, try and get eyes on Hotel 786 and maybe even India 775 and check it for... I'll also activity. have to agree with that block. <laughs> Being on the snow, yeah, that's that's a that's a direct counter to your camouflage. Yeah, it's like Definitely. climbing up the rocks on certain maps. All you hear is just the crumbling of the rocks, and it's like, oh, someone's sneaking up on top of me. Right, let's go down this little path. 
And this uh, south southern squad push from the Russian forces is still too far away to see the radio. They got about another hill to clear. Actually, no, they should be able to see that radio from here. All right, slow and steady. We can see the other tower from here. It's I'm that wondering further one. If the militia forces have spotted the Russian forces coming from the northwest, because uh, Nightmare is now pulling back from his position and linking back up with the majority of the okay, militia forces. And they are Approach all it. facing the direction where the Russians are. Oh. So I'm wondering if someone got spotted, like Block said, walking along the snow. It's just as bad as, as uh, walking on a hilltop or standing on a rock. It's just, it sticks you out so bad. Yeah, and green doesn't really match with white very much. That's the other no. good thing about about this map is you stick out like a sore thumb if you're walking anywhere around the snow, especially in the northeast. My Dukin's got a nice sneaky spot standing up against a ch oh, one of these evergreens, just hiding in it. And I forgot that Militia has camo for this. It's not like the normal track suits and uh, green garb. It's actual nope. camo. Yeah, I was telling you, it, it's it's pretty good at blending in with the greenery around here. They're just as susceptible to standing on the snow, though, just as the Russian forces. Command, two reports possible contact to their elements southeast. It's unconfirmed. We'll get more information on the way shortly. And sadly, the good high ground for getting a good view on things is just caked in snow. Oh, so it's inevitable someone's going to get spotted. It's never easy. Command for us uh, four. Go for squad four. If you just hold there, uh, hold your position, get you guys in just hard cover. Just wait for two to confirm the uh, contact call out. Four from, can you please slide to be on the uh, south side of four? So you'll need to move southeast. Okay. The call out from command to have uh, nuclear potato hold his position and have another like other squad move into his south. In Seems like Londarts wants to wrap around and just surround him by command. all sides. Last, great on two's last call. Golf That's six, not a bad nine, plan. One, Keep them as divided as possible, but right. at the same time, you're keeping yourself as divided. So instead of using all your force on one point you're using a completely spread force attack and you're just this could end up interesting and slow at the same time oh it always starts out slow uh I know. But like you're saying you, you never want to spread yourself thin because once you do that then you're trying to reinforce with you know two three hundred meters in between you and the force that you're trying to reinforce So the way we're going to try and do this is having a squad. I'm liking this line that Londards has set up to push towards the east and take on this militia force. They got a. They're going to have to really fight for this first radio tower. So try and move as you see fit to try and make it over to was it towards Caracal. Copy that. One of my guys is saying they spotted contact southeast, roughly Gulf 6-2, falling back. Yeah, it sounds like Riser has yeah, spotted right. someone southeast of him. Uh, it was like right here, actually. Riser, I'll let command. you between yourself and Rubber, who's in the best position to suppress, and who's uh, best but able to start getting guys across the uh, road to your east. Not exactly who it was. Sure, I need you making just a, uh, a lot of ruckus and getting them in as much crossfire as you can with the other two squad. Good copy. Oh. Here's some shots going out. Yeah, we got Merrick and the uh, Russian forces to the uh, south of the militia forces has started engaging. Not particularly direct fire, but it looks like they're providing cover. 
two, it sounds like they're roughly Gulf 659. Understood. Yeah, taking some looks, it's not exactly a good position to be trying to get direct hits. Four is moving to make oh. ruckus. Pico Potato is just going to cause some ruckus. Not really firing on anybody, just trying to get them to focus their attention down here so the northern push can happen. Oh, and they're going to start taking some shots. Anomaly. He's got some rounds coming in. It seems like right next to his head. And it, the rock is just deflecting everything. Might get domed here in a second if someone lifts up just a little bit. Yep, go ahead. Seems like they have a large element. Golf 769. Takes one in the Five. shoulder. That's Roger, where we're getting a lot of their contact from. Make sure we don't go back on ammo, just a uh, nice, slow, consistent rate of fire to keep the heads down to allow our other squads who are moving to move. Got a, a nice line going down the south side. Dude, these guys are picking up fire towards my but Clay J and Bartok, they definitely have more right, militia right forces right to their to their numbers than they have. There's only two of them, and they're going to start moving down further south, trying to get around Imones. Yeah, looking at things from the perspective of the militia, it definitely, they are in the blind on where they're being shot from. Most of them have a lot of foliage between them and the Russian forces. Except for right here, they have a pretty good open view on possibly Lima Bean. If he keeps pushing up that hill over there. Oh, it looks like we have had a casualty on the Russian side. Yeah, and I believe that would have been from section 46. Has a nice position over here behind a rock. Uh, got a pretty good view on any of the Russian forces to his uh, southwest to western direction. Looks like he's aiming for Gilly now. And there goes Gilly. Looks like Clay J and uh, Bartok down here, they're just trying to see what they can, uh, see if they can call out any contacts, or probably not even call out any contacts. They're trying to Fourth command. get their movements down. Okay. They don't want to move out into the open and have people around them. I think they're trying to wrap further south around them. Um, militia forces. Roger. Got Seabass down here on the far south side. He's one of the uh, hiders in a bush. Committee command. Do you see an SL? He'll be able to call him out to the south. Uh, negative, haven't seen any movement. Jewish. I think if they can wrap back oh, around to the eastern push. side, they might have a chance at taking one of the hills from the militia forces. Because they are, they've pulled a lot of the forces away from that direction. At least it looks like they've got mostly four man teams Take it. along the uh, northeastern north portion of the ridge. And yeah. some of them are pulling back towards the. Uh, southwestern western Command ridge two with We're or into the to town hotel 686 we're going to try to secure yeah, up here on the north the we got direction. try to provide supporting fire for Coma the Coma Mazer Coto Mazer he's got American Fluffs McGruffs and Salty Potato like right in front of him yeah, the Russians definitely got to take at least one of these hills get to the high ground Yeah, if they if they keep sitting there, the militia forces are going to start wrapping on them. Um, I'm looking at a small five-man team starting to move towards uh, Delik and Fulcrum. I don't know how well they're going to be able to combat that size of a squad. 
Yeah, I'm. I I just don't think Judah Mazer and Merrick just realize how close they actually are to each other. They're at least within fifty yards. Same with Fluff and McGruffs. I mean, if they push up just a little bit further, take their time, they'll definitely start seeing them. I'd have hold orders. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume they've got probably an explosive at Golf 793, given the amount of um, enemy that are on that touch general area. On this position. We'll be moving here shortly. Yeah, it looks like the Russian forces have managed to make it on the southwestern ridge line. Um, Two heads contacts down the ridge. And they have a good right, position to start pushing for, up uh, north uh, along it. This is three. We have an AR to our north. Downside area. is they've also got militia forces uh, moving along them. Oh, and we've got contact. Yep, Saucer air. goes uh, down. Eric uh, just hooks someone down also and, uh, on the north. Six. 25 meter. Eight three. Get your guys through hard enough there. Deal with north. One and you in a position to support two of them. Left Bravo deal with them. Doesn't look like the Russian forces realize that they have a four-man team right below them. Command, be advised, three is contact close on the eastern side, maybe less than 100 meters. We're also taking contact quickly to the north at the base of the nearest radio tower. Oh. Okay, I'm just... Okay, that's good. Funny man has spotted Major Dillon. Trying to take out chicken. Chicken using the tree to his advantage. Ooh, and possibly Soviet piggy just took out two. I'll leave that uh, to you. That leaves you WG and Bark alongside Flicker. Yeah, we got Silas here. He's pinned between three. We've got Alpha Guido up on top. Hive Noon and Sergeant Jackson right in front of him. But Silas has got a nice bush, you know, covering his position. On the eastern side of that ridge. Roger, Hotel 668. Someone just moves right out of his uh, concealment. He'll see him. He's pretty much dead open ground. Uh, we can try to make it, but uh, just know that it is a lot of open ground. No cover. All right, now you wait. Yeah, Silas lost on that one. He got one, but uh, Sergeant Jackson took him out. Alpha Guido confirms it. And it looks like the Russian forces have also made on the northeastern, eastern uh, ridge line too. Dorf pushing up slowly onto the militia forces along it. Keep shooting it. I need you to stretch and the we're defense. sitting at four yep, kills for the Russian forces and 13 for the militia. Moore's uh, going to start bounding. Not looking good for Russia right now. Understood. Bound by no, five. it's not. All right, we lost one. Can you clear if I go down, you will uh, be commanded. Good cop. Let's check out what's going on down in the south. Looks Ooh. like door forces are going to hold where they are. Yeah, it looks like some of the Russian forces have split the militia, and you got casings of Soviet piggy far down south with Bark right in front of them. They're going to have to go through some militia forces, including Flicker, just to re regroup with the rest of their team. They're going to take the low ground and try to hopefully not try to push back up the hill. They'll silhouette big time against this backdrop. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Soviet piggy and casings are going to take the low ground and try to regroup. For now, the Russians have successfully taken that hill. Push a little bit closer to that radio tower. But with a three-man team, I don't know how well that's going to... Well, that's going to work. Looks like the Russian forces, ooh, not doing so good at pushing the uh, southwestern hill at all. They have lost a lot of forces. Down, down goes a Dukin.
think Lima Bean got him. Yeah, Lima just just uh, popped him. Sadly, I don't think we have any airstrikes, uh, Netstalker. Yeah, no call-ins for tonight. That would make it very interesting, but probably a little OP. There's an AR set up in I-611. Yeah, no, nothing better than a call-in. A big boom-boom. Can confirm there is an IED at the base of the tower. And we've just got a call-out from Nuclear Good. saying that they have... Right. Confirm the placement of an IED on one of the uh, power lines. Enemies are falling back. IED. Yep, we're uh, just, now. Or just the oh Hotel the radio. Gotcha. Hotel seven four. Hotel seven. Gotta follow that script, man. Yeah, the immersion. And, and we're sitting at eight kills for the Russians and sixteen for militia. Two to one. Nuclear Potato is trying to get his squad even closer to this radius so they can dig at least one down. That's better than what's going on for the uh, northern side. What's your current strength? Northeast and east side. They aren't even close to it yet. We got six effective. How many, uh, slow clears, slow clears. Life. One life event, you can't make mistakes. Possibly a fire team no. Once you go down, you are down. No pickups. Oh, it looks like Soto Cat firing towards friendlies and then got taken out by militia on top of them. Nuclear good, good Twister's forces about to get toward the uh, the radio on one of the. Oh, taking contact from some of the forces that are still there. Oh no, they lost the Bartok. Oh, down goes D League. If you can, yeah. Two, there's also another radio location. Uh, I think India Sevenish. If you could check. And Bark's, Bark and Flicker are getting pretty close and to this first the radio, but there's at least six militia forces on the other side of the hill the from them. Oh, I, think they're north of four as well. I see some smokes going out trying to cover their yeah, advance. Uh, hold here for now. now. Let's not get busted on this objective. Make sure we get good space, good security. I see Squad 2 up towards the north. You can see the little blue outlines are starting to move south. Might be grab behind this tree in front of me. Three, uh, two, uh, what's left of four can uh, try to support you now as if you try to push to that radio. Oh, Rusty, Rusty Shackleford's got a nice little position. He might be catching some out in the open. Uh, yeah, copy. We still have guys directly over to the ridge to the east. Oh, it's not even him that sees them. By Mones. All right, we lost it. And I'm bandaging. Takes now. down Flicker. Okay, I'm in command now. <laughs> We lose, uh, yep, yeah. Lawn Darts, command for the Russians is down. Nuclear Potato is taking over command. I don't know how many he's got left. Looks like he's got, uh, Pillar 25. Who do I have up on command net? You have me. And that's it. Good copy. What's your effective strength? We have seven effective oh. And Bark gets taken down. Good copy. Looks like Clay J and Nuclear are going to have to push up. I think they're lost one right selves now. and one other. Yep. Okay, basically, you have uh, you should have one radio tower near you that should have an IED base at it. And your task is to prosecute that uh, until you're dead.
Clay J getting surrounded by the militia forces at this point. Oh yeah, they're all getting surrounded. I mean, we're sitting at 12 and 22 for the kills. 12 only for the Russians, 22 for militia. This is not a good position for these two. A literal uphill battle. Pushing north of you. Seneca might have eyes on nuclear. So we still got about seven Russian forces all the way out here towards the east. They're slowly moving up to this eastern radio. Dorf is leading the command. He is taking a very slow and methodical route compared to what was going on at the uh, southwestern side. I don't think they've seen <sighs> much combat. Uh, not too much. The fact that the militia still haven't pulled most of their forces or the rest of their forces off that hill means they expect something to still be there. Well, anyone on command comms? We have to cover here in these trees. And oh. looks like Two. we may yeah, have door. lost. Oh no, nuclear? Yeah. That's it for command comms. Two, do you have command comms? Clay J trying to to establish something going on. And he's pulling back, getting close to Lima. Okay. Uh -oh. Did you hear some Don't just go pro I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who it was. Uh, I think we just wrap. Oh, I, I see him know. moving to our 112 again. Hold on. He should be dead. We should probably. I don't too. think they got anyone. Oh, right up the hill. Yeah, directly or up the hill. Lima thinks he got a kill. And it looks like Clay J and Lima Bean are pulling away from their engagement on the southwestern hill for the moment and pushing up a little bit further down in the hopes that there are no militia forces there. Yeah, it looks like Alpha Guido is trying to get so much closer up to this radio. Eyeball tosses a grenade in his general direction, but Alpha has moved further south. Oh, is Alpha going to try for a burst shot? Yes, he tries it. Oh, but he didn't get it. So close. Got to use those trees. Oh, yeah. Air burst your, air burst your lat rounds. The downside, the trees can also work in the opposite advantage to you is if you're trying to hit something and it goes behind a tree branch yeah odds you are you're gonna hit that tree branch yep. yeah sergeant jackson crossing a road looks like he's pushing up on the northern radio But only him and Alpha Guido have crossed. Oh, no, we've got Salty Potatoes also pushed over with him. Sergeant Jackson trying to get some eyes on any militia forces from his little cover on a rock in a tree. Don't think he's going to see anyone from here. Let's see what Alpha Guido's looking at. 
Uh, he's, he's talking that liberal, liberal Emmy <laughs> trading punches. Oh, oddball. Ooh. Nope. I shouldn't have said his name. And then we got Sergeant Jackson pushing up towards Oddball slowly, waiting for him to poke his head out. Just be impatient. Anyone left in bands? Yep, yep, we're still up. I have two people over here. I have seven. Plus whatever's left one. You have seven? And it looks like we finally have some command communications back and forth. Uh, Clay J letting everyone else know there's only two people on the southwestern right, yeah, western so side of the uh, town. Oh no, Sergeant Jackson! <laughs> he had too many. He had too many contacts around him. He didn't know which way to look. Yeah, at this point, it's it's oh, yeah, a battle of utility. Yeah, they're surrounded. They're outnumbered. Yeah, I got contacts all over I-611. I don't know who's going to see who first, Salty got Potato or Daniel. I-611. I think and you're a bit right there, Peter William. One. It is definitely, if they keep sending in only one person, they're going to keep getting mowed down one at a time, and that's just going to keep shaving away on their forces. They're probably in the building between me and you as well. CF's looking for Salty Potato. Knows Daniel just went down. Heard those gunshots real close to his paws. Oh! Hadda catches him. It looks like Lima and Clay J are just I told you working I on cram, shaving down what militia forces this? they yeah. can on this side. Not really making a push towards the radio. Or IED. This is not based. Yeah, same thing's happening out here all the way on the east side. Based, it is. They're just going slow. Like you were saying, they're sending That's onesies and twosies and just getting mowed down. Wayne. If Wayne Newton just looks a little bit more to his left, That's he probably would spot Lima Bean. We're trying, but they they have us pinned. All right, just if you can. I'm surprised Lima Bean hasn't spotted him. Well, I'm he actually east, then, so. might have. No. Got you. We'll we'll just wait on you. Yeah, no time limit tonight, Kevin. Aside from the seven hour time that is placed on all map rolls. Actually, I don't know. What would happen if the uh if we did manage to cut through seven hours on one map? <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to imagine going seven hours. <laughs> But uh, I think they'd probably call it with whoever had the most forces left. Whoop, Where's that contact whoop. from? I don't know. Behind us. Stop shooting at You would think, Kevin, you would think, but I don't know. It, it depends. Depends on who's the advent admin for that, for the uh, op. Hey, can you move south at all? Yeah, they might, they might get an event admin nudge to moving faster. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw in Yeah, a nudge. AKA yes. a mortar barrage, artillery barrage. If they don't move fast enough, it might start becoming uh, direct fire. We're down to yeah. four effective. 
All right, I'm still up two guys here. Seems we're down to six Russian forces left. And it looks like Clay J and Lima are pushing up on the militia forces. Down goes Lima. Wayne Newton got him. Clay J doesn't realize Wayne Newton's right there. Takes down Rated Red. And Wayne Newton gets Clay J as he turns around. And that pretty much takes out all the Russian forces on the southwest western side. Yep, down to four. Out here on the east. I think we just need to hurry up and die. Yeah. Frontal charge? Well, it's a frontal like a charge real. no matter what we... know what we need to attack? There's... I don't want to charge anything There's... unless yeah. we know what we need to attack. I want Shadow it's, set it's up that... first before we charge. Good for Dorf calling it out. Just charge and die. Glory for the uh, Russian forces and all that. Oh, yeah. Hey, Shadow, move up the door and see if you can shoot from there. I have yet to see a single person. I, bought, I saw smoke and sandbag. That was about it. Or if doing a little spray and pray. Ooh, someone did a good direct shot on CT for the militia side. Yeah, we got three Russian forces left alongside I'm gonna go full set. pretty much a completely intact militia. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, was it Lagger, Shatter, Knight, and Dorf left? The road, so we might as well just fucking do it. Dorf's just going to lead the charge across the road. Maybe he'll make it. Maybe he won't. I don't know. He's got Seneca staring straight at him. Oh, he made it across the road. Wow, that is that is really interesting. He must have played Frogger growing up as a kid. <laughs> Who didn't? Oh, wait. Yeah. Missed out. Well, I didn't, but I was thinking about the kids that grew up uh, in the 2000s. There you go. You say Frogger, and they think you're talking about an actual frog. <laughs> I personally like the... Um, I had Frogger and Centipede. Eh, I was more of a uh, pitfall guy growing up. Nah. Uh, And I had a working copy of E.T. also. Oh. The most impossible game ever. Next to I Superman. Just right <laughs> uh, yeah. I spent a lot of days playing Tetris. Who didn't? I, I, I was looking for Tetris the other day just to put it on the computer so I could sit there during meetings and just play Tetris the whole time. But I can't find like a good copy that is like the old school. I'm just fucking gonna go straight up, like. Fucking I would suggest guys. something, but I don't think I should suggest it on on uh on stream. So yeah, just DM me later. Slide on in. Is there anyone left with Dorf? Yeah, he's still got Shadow Knight and Lagger. Oh, killer's still up too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're okay. down to four. Okay. I thought we were down to three. Sorry, the gnats slash cameras are just. Don't make it easy oh, on yeah. trying to figure they're out gnats. who's alive and who's not. Oh, they're definitely gnats. Uh... Go, 
Dorf, go. Just stand up and rush. Do it for the motherland. You're rushing. Why aren't you rushing? Horrible joke. <laughs> I know. Been saying that. Been saying that for like five minutes. See if Dorf can clutch this. Just take one. Close. If he gets one kill, Close. he'll be good. One, like 10 meters. It all starts with one. That's how dominoes fall. Soviet picky. How did you miss that? <laughs> he knows it too. <laughs> Ooh, oh, someone got him with a nade. I think that might have been Shadow. Or Lagar. Lagar tossing another nade. Head towards Cassings. No good. Reloading. They're north or uh, 285 from my position. Yep. I'm taking fire. I think that's liberal providing cover fire. Liberal and Seneca. Smoke out. Oof. Two individuals you don't want staring at you. Another nade short on hitting shadow. Shadow tossing in smoke. Might help him with getting uh, Garrett and Aethel an oddball out of you, but no, it's actually further than oddball, so that's not going to help much. Looks like all the militia forces are coming in now. They're just leaving three on the other radio, and that's it. Oh, they were all taken oh. down by Dorf. Shadow just starting to do some some work. Oh yeah, they're not gonna do so well though, because it looks like the militia forces, as you said, might be pulling some people from the western side. Not to mention, is that a Hedda? That is coming up behind the Russian forces. Up oh, down goes coming more. up on Lagar. And we're down to two, Lagar and Shadow Knight. Might be down to one. Hedda's getting pretty close to Lagar's position. I don't think and Lagar realizes he's there. <laughs> Lagar's the last man. And Head has lost his chance, and yeah. down goes Lagar. Yeah. Poor guy. He tried so hard. I he said did a good name. job. Yeah, you said his name. <laughs> I'll do it myself. All right, so if you could direct your attentions back to me, guys. Uh, first off, great job. Um, round one, you guys had good discipline. You stuck to the sail tops. Uh, you didn't push out, and you let them come to you. You drew them in, and you slotted them. That was perfect. And when you had to give ground, you gave it and retreated to the radio. So that's literally the perfect example of a good defense. You had good crossfire. I'm really happy with what happened. Now, um, in order to concentrate our forces and basically be able to put all the weight of the platoon in a single push, we're going to try to avoid uh, what happened with the Russians round one, which is them getting a bit... Uh, separated on our east and west so we're going to draw a platoon line on the ridge as marked with squad one on the uh, left squad two in the center left squad three in the center right and then squad four on the right once we're all set up on that ridge line we were simply going to push southwest 
clearing along the power lines and uh, basically reacting to whatever contact we find. And we do find that contact. I want the whole platoon working as a single element, pushing up, crushing it, and then moving to the next one. Essentially, if we maintain good pace, we can defeat them in detail, defeat the 360 in detail. Any questions? When you say left and right, you mean when we turn around and we're facing that way? So, where the squad 2 marker yeah, of is? Course. Yeah, 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 exactly. Any vehicles? Uh, we have those lodges to carry us there. Um, oh, ideally, okay, we deploy vehicles. on the east side of the ridge, in those vehicles, and then climb the ridge towards the west. And we only move up the ridge once we're all in line. Command interrogative. Uh, have we gotten word from UAV about possible uh, locations east or west? Negative. Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, SLs, break them out. Good luck, guys. You did good. Round one, let's do the same round two. They're going to start defending from. This is going to be fun. Ooh. That's really far away from where they, they want to be, though. Yeah, that, that's probably the Russians. And here we are. We're live with round two. Operation Power Surge on Balea. Snow layer map. Surprising I'm not getting any frame issues. I guess they uh, fixed the particles. Eh. I notice they disappear when I move. Yeah, they do have a tendency of doing that. I think it's just the render time um, to account for fast moving objects so it doesn't uh, overload. Potato everything? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And the technical details for it are way outside my scope. That's all I will say. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm a layman's when it comes to how the mods and the SDKs work. I'm trying to get into it a little bit more here and there, but it's, I don't know. It's, I want to, I want to get into the, um, I know squad at some point, I'm not sure if they actually released it completely. Uh, had something set up for their SDK so you could actually make um, scripted events. Not like for ops and whatnot, but um, for making videos. Go ahead, Command. Uh, I have heard something about like, yeah, something like that. I've never really investigated that deep into it. I think that would be fun to play around with. Oh, yeah. Have your own little battle going on, almost like a Zeus. Or using it for uh, getting good media. That could work, too. Yes. One dismounting. Uh, this is four dismount. Heading southeast. So we're watching Seabass and his squad moving up closer to the river. One thing we did forget to mention is everyone has to cross the bridges. They can't cross through the water. We have cold weather conditions Before right now. Before use your transport to cross the, the river, though, you're still 600 meters away from your position. But no AP mines or AT mines. So they're good. Just got to watch out for the uh, the bullets. And it looks like the militia forces, their setup is pretty, sp not as spread. Actually, it is more spread, very spread. Um, so it looks like they got one squad further out north, northeast from their points. Uh, looks like a, either a filler okay, or a stop point Go ahead, to try and... Slow down the Russian forces. They're in the train tunnel. On hillside That's for interesting. Copy one. So that's be more or less safe to uh, set up. Be interesting. But yeah. Um, 
Then they got a large forces set up on the high ground to the east and to the north. And it looks like a little bit of their forces set up to their southwest, possibly to pull in when uh, enemy forces start moving in. Yeah, it looks like squad four for the militia side is going to get themselves into a little problem since they're on the other side of the river and they got to cross using the bridges and sea bass is just going to bypass straight through squad four. Oh yeah, I see that. Which is fine. I mean, if you think about it, if squad four pushes past um, the militia squad four, two, ready to crest. Um, for the militia side, that would be advantageous Copy. because Wait, there's a the squad right. that no one has account for on the Russian side. They could push that in on their their rear line. Yeah, it and looks like can... a nice little north to south line from Ethel, and they're just going to push the power lines. And it looks like Squad Three is going to be doing the brunt of all the intel. They're the ones on the power lines. Oh yeah. don't move down the power lines themselves move on the okay, trees on each side think about keep moving web okay so you're a free crest stay on the top side get Bagnox out look for your next uh, position across the road the valley Focus. i guess the militia thought that someone was going to try to okay, take tunnel to step up. We're continue to move and, and no one went through tunnel no yeah. But as I said, that's that's a nice position. I don't think the Russians would even expect them to be there. So if they keep that force there, and once the Russian forces start engaging the militia forces, uh, that squad can push off north and trek back behind the Russian line, relatively yeah. fast too. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. They can, they can wait for the Russians to get in even closer, and then send squad four against that bridge. Up in uh, Fox 5, just come in right behind them. Right now, I'm trying to establish that. Let's hold this. I see the next power line. Power lines will be moving a bit more west and southwest at this point. So we're going to keep a western, uh, a western push. Copy. Thank you. Right now, I see the next power line on Gulf 773. It's empty. Um, I want squad 3 north of that power line, so that's the spur Gulf 778. I'll copy on I'm 2. Oh, my bad, yeah, oops. Uh, so yeah, Raggy, your next objective is the spur, direct west of you. Gulf 778. Copy, hill west. You're moving F691, the spur west of you. Copy NSA, that, you're F6. moving to secure the village. And then Wayne, you are securing the spur south of the village. Everyone, we have copy? a contact. We have a contact. Contact up here. Yeah. Someone's calling out contacts already. I don't know where they're getting the contact from. They're nowhere near yeah. the militia forces yet. Like a whole hill in between them and uh, the militia forces. And so How's that contact? Approximately F eight four eight Foxtrot eight four eight. They don't actually know exactly, but there's contacts. There is contact. There is no one in that position. Right. NSA, I think they're. I think they're calling out the Would people the around the tunnel. Wait, I know they're on top of the tunnel. They're not above it. Positions. No, no, he called out Foxtrot eight four oh, eight. Yeah, there's nobody there. Yeah, that's that's a completely empty square. Someone saw a bush move. The village around Fox yeah. 863 or Golf 817. Able is one times. And looks like. Yep, so the ban is NSA stays here, opens fire if any squad takes fire. One. Three and four move westward. Ethel macro managing like no tomorrow. Copy. Right now. Yep. Right now. Yes. Right now. 
Copy. You call out for positions. It was Echo 765. One stepping off west. They're moving south. Oh, Three someone did call out Echo 7. Yeah, and that is position. I think they might have spotted Rubba. He's the only one over here walking around in the open. Echo 765, copy two. Copy four. All the cells, when you find a good two, we'll move in to secure the village. Fox Rod 7231. Ethel, Charlie team can't cover from this position. They don't have eyes. You have them move, they have to. Command one. Looks like a lot of the militia forces are if I, just if I need to help out, set up in defilade and some type of concealment, lying and wait, waiting oh, for the yeah. Russian forces to get close. No rush. They're basically <laughs> using the same tactics as the first round, but they are more set up for taking in one direction than both. I mean, there's not much that the Russian forces can do for taking their opposite side, seeing as that is... Uh, Excuse me for breaking immersion, the the uh, map wall, so. <laughs> it happens. Definitely think the militia's just lying in wait. Yeah, oh, we might see. Uh, looks like Squad 4 and the Russian and Fair militia nice. forces are getting closer, but I don't think... Oh, they do for the... Copy 4. Militia forces do have some people outside the tunnel. I guess some contacts going. Copy three. You have a good spot. All right. This is uh, four. We've got Bravo set up, looking south. Yeah, Arcus, Arkansas. Uh, Cheating in the ops right is going to be kind of hard since we do right put a now, delay on this, and that delay allows us to catch people that are stream sniping, and if you That's stream your snipe, you're gone. They'll never be in these events again. We moderate all the channels. We are the all-seeing eye, like Big Brother. Oh, no, 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 that's all I had to say. Ethel, do you want my Bravo team still supporting by fire, or do you want them pulling south? Break, break, contact, straight west of four. Contact, straight And west. it looks like militia forces Distance. straight west of Russian Hold four squad Hold has Hold been Hold spotted. Hold yeah, the militia forces have definitely pulled out. They're doing right exactly now, what so I said they would do, except the for they've sent a small team of three to to straight to towards the Russian line. Ethel, do you want my fire team that's covering the whole platoon to come down and help you? Those are just the, the pawns. Yeah, yep, the pawns. You can pull that fire team back, but do not clear the village yet. Understood. Command one, interrogative. Go ahead, one. D-Leak moving up is towards, uh... To the village and not get caught in the CQC who is battle? that? Silver, Rusty, and Black it is, GoPro? It's a suggestion. Break, break. Four's in contact. West, northwest of four. Yeah, they get one, they get WG. Copy distance. 6920. Yeah. I need a distance for. Are they on your side of the river? Um, D League right, probably going to get taken out by Rusty. Within He's not looking the right direction. That, that Rusty bad. almost didn't All make right, it. Four, keep, yep, uh, within 50 meters. Pin, stand correct. 50 meters. Silver taking four, shots at. Uh, you are moving to flank that contact. Rav. Move in from four south. shorten his name. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Two, you are the village on the southwest. One, okay. you are southern security. Ideally, I'd like uh, the whole line he is surrounded to and eight alone. To six for squad one location. Yeah, but four they performed their job. For squad two location. Russian forces are completely four, focused towards the west. Contact. And that's given the rest of their tracking. team the ability to push north and up and around the you. Russian forces. Copy. Flanking with much help. Looks like three's coming up to reinforce them. 
contacts are within 50 meters to the west of four. I suggest three goes west and then north. It would be pointless to have both squads in the same position. Only if the ground is secure, three. If you cannot cross that road, do not cross it. Copy, I already yeah. crossed. Good point. So squad two, completely bypass that village and move to 872. And uh, coordinate with one to push westward. Got a, that flanking element reaching that northern bridge now, led by Flicker. Following along is Bark, Sasa, and who is this? Fulcrum. This is a real good northern flank. Or for the Russian side is so focused down that hill. Three They're probably not going to uh, even know that this force that is coming from their west. north side. Oh, yeah, they don't. They are all staring westward. There is no chance they know they're back there. Command one. Three is breaking for head one. North right now. Confirm my ultimate uh, destination. Ultimate destination is Echo 8. Oh, eight, hopefully four. they don't step in any snow and give their position. Northwest of that. Uh, I think they'd be Echo fine at this point. Copy. Thank you. I just think it's another teammate just moving around. Yeah, pretty much. There's only, what, three, three four of them back way. there? Uh, four. Yeah, scanning. Yeah, that's pretty tiny force, and nice as we said, team. yeah, the uh, Russian forces don't three, expect four, them. And Rav is engaging the squad for the Russian forces again. Keeping them pinned. This pawn is just three, four, copy. Sit rep. taking all the we advantages he can. We have contact to southwest How is he still alive? They just walked right past him. <laughs> oh my god. And he just oh. accidentally oh. blew him up. Blew himself up with a grenade. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. Hit that branch, just like we were talking about. Boink. It's probably a flanking element that was destined for the whole platoon, so they mount. They're most likely isolated. Sauce is looking for them now. Trying to get a bead on where their location is. We killed one enemy west of four. Well, Kevin, it's possible, but if no one in the squad says that they tossed a grenade, it's highly possible they will understand that he blew himself up. Command one. Go ahead, one. And the fact that they're moving Go around and he's not taking any shots definitely lets them know that he's not there anymore. Combat line facing west and have squad two on my northeast. Yep, Four, that's exactly how you should be, that's perfect. I think we cleared them out. Copy, uh, Raggy, copy, Silver. Get the platoon Sauce is moving up even closer. Your objective is Echo 6. It's fire team two. element Echo six, of six, 4, two, the remaining two. elements of 4. That's Silver. And then Raggy's objective is Echo Ooh. 7, 6, 4. That's uh, south. looks so like the Russian forces have I actually split down the middle. Uh, squads 3, 4, and 5 are moving towards Got the it. northern side of the militia forces, and squads 2 and 1 are moving towards the uh, southern side of the militia forces. So they have indeed split up again like round 1. And they are getting really close. Looking at the southern forces for the Russian forces, they are have one road between them and militia. For we will cover you whilst you move, then we will follow behind, follow in behind, <laughs> and then move south towards out there. Copy 
bear in mind you're also a northern security yeah. force, uh, Silver. So keep uh, some eyes north of that river. Hey. He's 300. But it's only cold water conditions, so if they cross, they can only use those bridges. Come here. Looks like Evan might have spotted someone. You said you had a contact somewhere northwest, you correct, Wayne? Yeah. Come to my direct left. He might be seeing Viper. Repeat for one. You said you had a contact somewhere to your northwest earlier, correct, one? All right, where am I looking? Negative. To You're my direct looking west. 304. Command yeah, he sees people. Viper. We're trying to, uh, 304, I got a gap between trees, rocks, yes, rocks. Exactly. Yeah, Fulcrum up yeah, on the north, he's not moving right fast now, enough. Yeah, the, 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 the Russian forces have kind of pushed out of his eyes. And we'll wait for to get the, in their own locations. Just, yeah. One and two, going direct. Yeah, we'll look there. Yep. Yeah, Raggy, his squad moving down from the north to the south. Closer to Gilly, it looks like. Four like into the set on the ridge line, so, so they can two can watch northwest and four can watch southeast on that Echo Seven Five Six objective for you three. Right. Silas. Silas possibly okay, going to take Copy a shot. Gone. Yeah. Tell me if he books his head up again. Okay. He well, his head is technically out right now. Oh, he's. Viper now, if you, takes if you go... or Silas takes out Viper. I have fucking wait. Command one. Currently engaging one time soldier to our west. And that takes Copy out one. Merrick's buddy. Here, if you go left, but that left. also probably let the militia know, forces there. know um, that the I Russian have, forces are to you. their south now. Copy NSA, yep. At least something's to their south. Hey, from where's. Copy. Uh, yeah, up here on the north, we're just we're still waiting for Storm and the rest of his fire team to cross the road, but there's a lot of militia forces up on the hill across from them, so it's definitely going to be difficult for them to get across that road unless they have some type of suppression fire behind them. Still more enemies at Echo 59. Copy, we'll probably open yeah, with suppression for a minute sure. and then ask Reggie to push. Oh, yeah, I see him running around. There's contacts on there uh, to our southwest, we're gonna engage. Right Mr. Reggie's gonna start uh, engaging Raggi everyone on this hill across from him. Hill. <clears throat> this isn't good. I want some good suppression for a solid minute here. Aethel is being pushed up by Fulcrum, that squad four from uh, militia forces. I get caught out engaging. by himself. Yeah, Russian forces may lose their command. If Aethel doesn't get in cover and they crest Reading, that Reading. hill. Looks like Coach. Aethel might have saved himself. He is full force running straight towards his Three's own forces. So he may have dodged a bullet there. Blue smoke enemy position marked on the hill. Russian forces engaging uh, militias at a distance. Squad leader three is down. Who's replacing? Yep. All right, Seneca, what's your strength? And that. Okay, squad Seneca. four of the we'll militia forces back, still sick. pushing up behind the Russians and the Russians as they before don't realize that they're back there. They're completely focused on the front. A nice suppressing and fire and Echo seven, six, fire by volume accuracy by volume. Coming out from the Russian forces right now. Right now it looks like towards the southwest. Um, trying to get them to pull NSA back from this hill so they can move across the street. Northwest. But the militia forces aren't even moving. Understood. Wayne, you're probably going to be setting the pace from now on. You have to find a way around that contact. See if you can probe something. Sitting at four kills for the Russians and four kills for the militia. Command, but it's even Richard. right now. Northwest from our current position and then come north. Command, we're taking 
And depending on what that uh, mill team does from the back of the Russian forces, that might change real fast. If they get that flanking force from four to get down there and move faster, it could definitely do some damage to this Russian force. Oh, yeah. Ethel, I gotta go AFK for two seconds. Go ahead, send the go. Not sure if it was the militia or if it was the Russian forces, but someone just popped a red smoke in front of the uh, Russian line. Hopefully it was Russia. Hopefully it wasn't militia. This isn't good. I think Gilly's got the perfect Definitely. spot under here under a we tree that I think the Russian forces They're think he's up on top of the hill, but he's right almost on the street. All right, I mean, that's what we wanted to avoid in the first place, but okay. One is pushing Eastern, two, your suppression for one. No, my bad, sorry. You mean a lot of suppression correct? coming from the militia forces towards the north. I mean, if you can use the buildings to get close, that's a good strategy. Looks like okay, Squad 4 decided to get a little hustle in their muscle. Yep, ask him. They're coming up real close to this northern flank. Yeah, they are. And Russian force is still not looking towards their rear. They are all still... Nope, Silver is facing that direction, but I don't think he's going to have an eye on anything. He oh, just went down. Yeah. I shouldn't have said his name. Say his name and he dies. It's the curse. Headbuster. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Currently, we are engaging the enemy across the ridge to our south, southwest from us. They have us pretty good pinned. Copy. Move up the hill if you have to. Find a better spot higher up. Picker's getting real close to Headbuster and Imonez. I think Imonez may have spotted somebody. He's looking directly at him. Command one. Go ahead, one. Moving north time now. Brick. Has anyone even spotted a radio yet? Oh, Amanos is facing the other way. I thought he was looking this Copy. way. Echo 879. Yep, that's Echo 879 we're taking contact from. This Russian flank might push right Copy. behind him, and Aethel moves expression. back around Roger. this flank again. So three right now, you have a good spot. Four relocates to a better position. We're getting flanked. Someone just called out the flank. Yep, finally. Russian forces have successfully, uh, I mean, the militia forces have successfully taken over that hill. Oh, Fulcrum C. Sasa. Copy. There goes Storm. Alright, let's try to use this for our advantage. How, how strong are you for? Three's breaking contact, and we are Too pushing strong. north to clear contact. Fulcrum headed straight for HVA Go. Headbuster. Make sure not to expose yourself to the west side. You'll get Headbuster up. hears him. And down goes Fulcrum. And Headbuster calling out, taking down one of the militia SLs. Yeah, it's down to Flicker. Northern flank. I think he's gonna be. bug out. Yeah. Aethel shall be safe for today.
I swear, I want to ask him if he's got spidey senses. Oh, he definitely does. Shoot at you, and you're always standing right next to me when you shoot. All right. Get online on this hill crest. Watch out about peeking. They're straight. 36. That looks like a crit push. One 30. and two. He's running right to the left. Did someone just shoot west of me? Yes, I don't think it was us. That was not us. That is definitely kind of. We're taking to watch west. west. Three and four, those contacts cleared out. Storm, you watch west. Clear it now. We're on, we're on the south side of Fort. Yep. Copy. God damn it. Hey, four, I'm gonna be on your south side. Um, I saw him. I thought his head was around. Killer. Is, is he Pop some people up. Wait. No, Toss no. some grenades out from Evan. I'm hip. Copy. Gets him. I'm just gonna Not killer. He's suppressed. Go, Silas. Hurry up. Command one update. Right, I'm back. Stop me. A tick. All right, I'm down. Infantry close to our west. Copy you one, you're anchoring west back. for two to Looks like Evan forces are falling okay. back from their position. I wonder if Wayne Copy Newton saw this other flank that's coming on to the south southeast. And if they sit up on the ball and this is part of squad two. Got Sergeant Jackson, um, the goon, and salty uh, potato. Yeah, and they say you need to you need to hold that hill. You need to push that hill like a seven six four. That's the objective. Everybody's moving off it. Yeah, looks like the uh if we hold that we have good sight lines on the next ridge lines. Militia forces are starting to uh collapse back on each other and finding different places to hold leaving one of their IEDs undefended. Go ahead. This hilltop is clear to our west. There is no one around this. Copy. Get eyes up again to your southwest. See if you can support any push. Militia command seven. deeming Six, not five, worth two. guarding Eight. one of them. Squad 2, I need to expedite on that uh, hilltop. Push. Yeah, give up one and guard the other one. Because by the time everyone gets to that two, second one, they're going to be dwindled down. Well, you've also we got to keep in mind that they have to dig clear, down the IED. And, no radios. and that oh. ID is in a really it was open no position. That was my question earlier about oddball. I still need you to take up your spot between 4, 3, and 1 on that location. Right now, you're bunched with 1. Understood. I gotta leave 1, go north. Command one. Go ahead, one. Hey, we got hit pretty hard from our west possible squad side element. We pulled one team back slightly, but we're holding. We now, they're starting to move southwest around us, if you look at my position. Yep, I see that. That's the buildings to your southwest. Um, feel free to cross the road again to your east and hold the Echo 859 height as a defensive position. Still trying to find out what Sergeant Jackson is doing with the squad down here. I don't know if they've Two, seen one. him and We're just waiting for him to east. move into a good position to attack. I definitely see him Next crossing the road. Is Not sure. That's the ridge line west of you two. There's a lot of movement compared to the first round and kind of just tossing you Go for ahead, a loop. Oh, yeah. Didn't Echo expect six, the militia five. to pull Next off of one of their IDs. Doesn't look like the yep, Russians are taking the bait just three. yet. Make sure three is of fire and you are pushing. We've got the radio. That's probably what militia is counting on for them to take the bait and then they sweep this this fire team that's you down the here radio. to the south. I see the radio. Up towards them and just take them out it's while they're the trying to dig it down. I don't think that would Echo work seven, too one, well. Six. The amount of forces they've got moving towards Echo that seven, IED, one, six, yes, that's... that's the objective. That's a lot of forces Two, for one, only a fire positions. team to take care of. Uh, four oh, and three are setting the yeah. base now. Let's they catch them off guard. Delta seven nine nine. A grenade nine. could take out a bunch. That's true, but that's going to be a pretty good grenade. We've already seen what branches do. <laughs> 
two, one. Like a springboard. Not even that, just a wall. There's no bounce, it's just it hits it and it falls. Russian forces just tossing out random fire. I don't know if they actually see anyone. There's no one that they're going to see at this point in time. No. Yeah, wait. They got like hills and trees in between them. I am. I'm just. Sergeant Jackson. I mean, he just should just move in now. Okay. Three, four. I'll copy. Go. Score for now. Ten we got copy. 10 kills for the Russians and nine kills right, for the militia. Still even. Three to be Still not, uh, south and four watching west. the four weight west hasn't security. tipped in one favor and yet. Three being uh, suppression towards the south side for two and one to push westward. Three, Sounds good. Firm. Cap. I think we've fallen back into the same trap as the first one is Aethel is sending little teams out, but he's not moving the main force as one anymore. I mean, it's working, but it's slow. It needs a little bit more momentum. Just a tad just, bit. But just we tad. see things that they can't see. That was behind us. But it does look like the militia forces have given up on that radio. There is no chance of them trying to stop the Russian forces from taking that one down. Looks like they're going to fortify around the second one. They've already started taking up positions in the uh, train depot. Ford, did they contact behind you? Or did you open fire on something? Uh, no, I thought that was... Little confusion coming in right. with the command of where those shots were going out or where they were receiving the shots from. from uh, way back when. Okay, just to be safe, four for now, your eastern security behind three. Yeah. Three, do you, are you set watching south? Yeah, Roger, I got a fire team looking. Okay, three, open up some pressure on that southern peak. To be, uh, Two, south. One, you're free to push. To Westward. It sounds like the Russian forces are about Understood. to push towards one. the radio. I mean, IED. Time to move out. No one there. Hopefully, they don't expend all their ammo. Someone's marking it with blue smoke. We're taking friendly fire now. Right oh, it's going right over our heads. I think we've got enemy close southwest, maybe. Hey, Roger, shipping. Hoping we don't end up with any team kills with that, uh. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be bad. Yeah, I'm seeing the, the uh, Russian forces getting a little close to those tracers. And it looks like the Russian forces have managed to make it onto the hill. Not really much to stop them, though. Uh, haven't gone straight for the IED yet. You alive, squad They know it's okay. a trap. I thought that you were there. All right, four. That sounded like a sound bug. You can get back oh, to your I think it's a trap. position. I don't think there's an element behind us. No, so it's, it's a trap. Position. Eh, it's a Thanks. trap. So for doing that, I got really worried there. Yeah, no problem. And Go Aethel down. making the uh, call right, that good push to sit right. only until you can see. He doesn't think there's anyone behind them anymore, so it's gonna. Shave off some of that Anything. paranoia that the Russians have, uh, probably. We are holding at this point, watching west. One yeah, is going to maneuver around us to the south so and try and get the southern flank. Let them catch. Have you got in the radio? I uh, just be careful. We're getting close. Repeat last NSA. Command. We're getting close. Just give me a minute. All right. Oddball's in Command pretty good urgent. position we to go up and start digging that ID now. down. If we push west, we're going to get rolled up on from back. Yep, yep. Hold the uh, southeastern security. You're perfect where you are. And they have no.
no one here to contest them. And even if they did send someone up to go and dig that IED down, I don't think any of the militia forces will actually have a beat on it. My Bravo team is yeah, probably not. They pulled off the radio so, so they can far it. off. Oh yeah. Copy and say don't take risks. Evan Prior down here on the south is digging it down. Hold his guys and start doing being, a defensive 360 careful. starting to face towards southeast. Right where the goon and salty potato are moving now with Alpha Guido. Trying to put down some cover smoke for him. I'm thinking that might have been a no-no, though. Because I... Militia forces wouldn't have known they were going for that radio if they just crawled up and started shoveling it from the, uh... I think we're taking a fire eaten, from the south. Wow. Well, eastern side of it. Yeah, they, want, they only would have known if they were checking the map and seeing... Yep. Oh! Our radio Copy got dug down. Right now, the inter platoon is holding yeah. their positions. So once the radio goes you. down, we do not Did have to push shot? anymore. What's they have to... You got you think shot. The Russian forces the not planning on pushing the radio just yet until there's enough smoke on it. It's a lot of indiscriminate shots coming from the mill has uh made them a little bit more cautious. Hey Lance, I'm moving up uh, to a slightly better position. Oddball hey, pushing gonna... up. Yeah, I think Evan has been alerted to this southern going for the southern flank. Now. Started putting down some fire and some smoke to mark them. Looks like the militia forces are just going to let them have the radio. No one really moving in to stop them. I bet it's an IED on this thing and I don't know about it. I mean, technically, what you're digging down is an IED. Yeah, hopefully I don't hear any cell phone calls. <laughs> you hear that ringtone run. <laughs> All right, my bad. They can hold the last radio. And Alpha, he is going for a really long flank towards the east. Yes. Oddball pushed the off the radio, possibly taking shots However, from the militia uh, forces. Radio's it's almost it's down, just needs a couple more hits and a bad smoke toss. Better than a bad grenade toss. That's true, had one of those. I'll tell you, nothing feels worse except for a team kill than blowing yourself up. These fucking trees. I can't see shit. Do you want uh, reinforcements to clear this context out? And you got this sure we can finally Russian we force down here on the south Have you guys trying to fight against this flanking element. One part of it still got Alpha Guido out on the west side pushing towards them now. It's your pace to clear out this context south when you have. Um, move westward in a good location. Preferably this is a big flank coming from the militia side. Command one update. We've got contacts, but they keep peeling off to the east, and I'm not sure where this other radio is at. The other radio is definitely in the number yard. That is somewhere in the number seven, or yep, Charlie seven. seven. That's, Copy. That's where it's got to be. Aethel calling out the second position for the I other radio. Man, they're all. They all seem to be peeling off. Pretty close to it too. But yeah, but apart from that, flanking it. Actually, directly on it. And pulling in the other direction. Radio's down. Eastward. Radio's down. And the job, Russian forces have finished we with the first radio. So they will start Command moving one. in we'll on the second one. The rest of the split team wants to push directly towards C7. And then we'll just simply collapse in on you guys. The issue is the strength of the entire west part of the platoon is two squads. Down goes Evan, the fire team leader, as Alpha Guido is moving up even closer with his fire team. He's in squad two. Okay, copy. So, command, what do you want one to do? Tag Silas. If 
if you can take out those contacts, do so. If they're running away from you, I guess we do not have a choice and we have to push. Christ, okay, that's a bad situation. All right, yeah, I really don't do. want to follow these guys to the east. This is what I'm going to do. Seneca, with your squad, yeah. you're going to be our rear security. And you're going to take... Yeah, um, you're going to take Ennis's spot. Wayne, you're disengaging those eastern contacts. And you're moving to Delta 873. And they say you're staying where we are, and when we push, finally, uh, we push from Delta 873. Ah, oh, Christ, no, this Command doesn't one. work. We have to move we won't north. Have... We have to move north. And I don't think oh, Kanan okay. Man knows about this flank down, down here to the south. I haven't heard anything from him about it. Storm gets taken out by Fluffs yeah, and Gruffs. Now's the time. I haven't heard anything Command. over the command. This is three. You want me to reinforce one so we can actually mm -hmm. take Lumberyard, man? No, no, scratch my last on the one Setting out 11 kills for the Russian forces and 12 for the militia. Your security thing is we're not strong enough to take Lumber Yard, I believe. With, without one. Hi, Roger. What's the grid to Lumber Yard again, sir? Aethel taking his sweet time making up his decisions okay, on and how he wants to take the lumber yard. Would be on Charlie 7, yeah, very, very Charlie methodical. He he definitely Charlie does Charlie take his time trying to think every every move out. Alpha just hiding All in the right, bushes. I I will do it. Starting to move um, up closer to Alex Ryan and Wayne Newton. Move to NSA spy locations. So squad two. NSA, you are moving southwestward towards Delta 884 on that ridge line, if you can see it. Heard. There you go. Good. And one, you are taking three spots, meaning we're going to have one on the north with four pushing. From the north side, we're going to have two on Delta 873 as a base of fire, and we're going to have three as rear security facing eastward. Alpha doesn't like his position. No, He's going to pull back and try something else. Seems like Agreed. he's going to take some shots and raise your also. All right. All good. Uh, let's go one. Maybe they know about the flank now. Shots coming in from Wayne Wait, Newton. Lance a lot. In a tick, stand by. Point the contact. Meg. Copy. Alright, I'm moving. Copy. Update on the front line. It looks like a small detachment of four men with oddball pushing into the militia forces. Nothing yet on anything else. What is Oddball doing, okay. NSC? He tells me that that's the best way to get to that objective. Oddball has Maybe gone has a AWOL, pretty much. The one that you gave uh -oh. me. He wants you to be in the tree or something. Because Aethel right, has not a clue what he's sneak. doing. Okay. Right, I'll trust him. He has sneak, eyes on. Sneak through, that, sneak through. Uh, that's what I said. Command one. Go ahead, one. Alright, currently six guns strong, moving to the north to take up northern side of platoon line. Copy. Ideally, we'll have three pulling 360 on the hill, two on the Delta Ridge line, and you on the north side. I just shot a fucking bullet. You and two, person. squad one and squad so two stupid. push, squad three is base of fire, most westward, and security for the east side. So, that militia squad two fire team is pushing even further east away hey, from I'm just gonna get the uh, Russian quickly. forces. Give me an update then, please. Copy. The long game flank. Oh, yeah. It looks like the militia forces on the eastern side of the Russian forces has fallen behind as the Russian forces push towards Command. the uh, lumber yard. Train depot. You mean two? Sorry, two. My bad. Uh, Train beat. It's going to be a tough push for the Russian forces from here on out. Oh yeah, we need to definitely move with some speed. Yeah, yeah, boys, let's coordinate our shit. Yeah, right now, Abel is 
way off horse. Just literally tell him to stop moving. Oddball. Extending way too far for Aethel's liking. Madman. Liking. He's, and he's too, you really, really need to get your bitch right now. Yep, he's he's right being a mad lad. Yeah. You need to let him... yeah, his mad lad yeah, free, building move for, uh, movement is going to get him killed. He's got Bartok literally right to his uh, west. Crawling back to get a better advantage point. Yeah, and he's got a rather Scottish chap to his south. Hey, is not a good position to be sitting in. Either one of those is bad. Both nope. of them. Ooh. Command's moving in the open. Got some enemy forces towards the southeast. Hopefully they don't find them and tag them. All right, good positioning coming up right now. Good job, guys. Remember three, you're all Eastern security. Sorry, Eastern security. Roger that. Oh. Okay, what's up here? They're on top. Almost had. Aethel <laughs> almost ran straight into yep. some enemy fire. Oh, and he gets tagged. Oh, that coming and from? down goes Aethel. Rush command is down. Well, that's going to make it. I've really got to find a different line to go when, when things start fire going fire bad. Fire but that's that's going to be an uphill battle for the Russians. Everything's going, Millhouse. Hey, T, how are you doing over there? Is command down, by the way? We're alive. Command's down. The tactician is gone. Oddball takes over. We're taking contact from the east. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're taking contact Copy from the east. Yeah, that could be those flankers east. Oddball forces pushed across the road, taking shots from rather Scottish chap. Down goes Deadline. Yeah, Roger, I'm gonna rotate. Oddball trying to take out Rather. Not quite close enough. There he goes. Oddball's not careful. Flicker's gonna get him. It's not our fight down there. Yeah, Roger that. Okay, are we good? NC Hill might. Who's hurt? Not me. NC Hill probably sees Oddball. All squads, this is company. Okay, I'm lucky. Uh, deadline went send. down. If we need healing, How and we're going to continue. See him? Liberal, HQ, go send. east and work that side. HQ Tinkerbell. reports that Moscow oh. is on the line. Oddball right takes down NC Hill. Why <laughs> leaves flicker of the militia forces on this hill all alone. Much apologies. Uh, Russian forces pushing to expedite time now. Understood. Sounds like uh, decimation, or yeah, decimation has been called out for the Russian yeah, forces. Taken over from NSA. Copy oddball. One, what's your situation up there? Stand by. Oh, I need to get to this. another position. Currently trying to maneuver guys northwest, or actually northeast of train yard, and trying to push in on train yard. We've got connex in train yard proper. Okay, Roger, that's not. Our objective is to for the militia and, forces uh, move of getting a little bit further to close so we can get to with the their flank. Alpha Guido is going to charge this the, hill. Uh, understood. Copy. Update me on the radio tower location. Radio location. I'm actually not sure myself, so if anyone could fill me in. Update up. on yep. the uh, kill count. Yeah, it's uh, even across the right board with 70 uh, kills. Oh, uh, no. Looks like the Russian, Russian forces have Russian gotten one extra UAV kill on the uh, militia forces. Enemy explosive underneath 765 KV power line. So that's 17 V16. Thank you, Motherland. Charlie 733. Thank you, Mr. Drone. Buffs just saves himself with a bandage. I think we passed that. <laughs> Right, okay, one, four, let's work on getting that down there to the south. Copy, one's going to start fighting a fighting uh, retreat from the north side while we continue to all move south. 
Understood one. Yeah, one, be careful. To our northeast, we do still have an, at least an enemy fire team over that. Okay, three. Skeleton crew that to the east. Three, I might go down. One. Salty Potato's gonna try to crest this hill, take some people down. He's it's one. How to do a reload? Hear that click. Soviet Piggy is going to try to wrap around him in case he tries to peek that hill Three again. Too effective. We are breaking contact south. Another um, update. Let's just kind of pull back again. On the train yard, looks like a four-man team comprised of Nightmare, Lex Ryan, Rated Red, and Kodo have pushed on the northern side of the rail area uh with oddball pushing up the center yeah it looks like it's just hey, oddball and uh liberal they're gonna the they're gonna take on the whole the whole yeah, militia forces by themselves guys, nightmare so. takes down uh Understood. just get them moving Best time. Maybe scope time. Hey, one, just be advised about like 200 meters to your south. There's oh, our enemies on the south of you. Which might pull some militia forces towards them. Doesn't look like it, though. Everyone seems to be holding Yo, their you positions. You can uh, this hill to my south, uh, west, pretty easy. You'd have to cross the road, though, but we, we had to cross the road anyway. Alright, there's an AR to uh, southwest of. Uh... Gotta make a move. Got two. Gotta do something. Something. Ooh, down Eight. goes Lex Ryan Eight. to look like either Gillery or Young Savage. Really good. Yeah, Roger, move. One, if you could work in from the northeast and just keep an eye on train yard best you can. These two using their camo to its maximum ability. Both laying in the grass and the shadows. Nightmare. Looks like he's going to attempt to cross over Technic, into the careful. train yard. AR's got me pinned. You suggest you work the south. Komodo's might not be as Run lucky up. if he pushes up that... Nope. Right, well, I'm going to come in from your north here and see if I get eyes on this AR. Understood. They're playing it safe and keeping themselves down low. And they've gotten successfully behind the militia forces. Good flank from Nightmare. Oh, yeah. That gets them one step closer to the radio without having any militia interference. Now they just got to clear all those buildings to get in. <laughs> That's the issue. And a good evening to you too, Rubba. Uh, stream would be going great if things weren't taking so long. Nah. All right, two just went down. Three, what's your strength? Two right now. <sighs> Copy. We're moving okay, south, but... and we're gonna move northwest. I or, might be getting right, your uh, so wish you there, like Taylor. For a seven-hour uh, stream. Side of the objective. Oh, I was joking. Oh. Let's see, within three to Even five minutes. I can't can be survive decision. a seven hour stream on yeah, this. Roger. Objective is what? Uh, Charlie 733. Oh, uh, you know. Negative, negative. Charlie command 7 might be given that. Okay, Charlie. Company command might be given that gentle nudge here shortly. Looks like Nightmare might just be bypassing the whole building right, sweep an and just going building, straight for the objective. Yeah. All for the motherland. All of it. Yeah, they're pretty spread out, militia forces, along the uh, train yard. They still got the squad two 
now they're moving towards the south, this flanking element that we've been trying to follow the whole game. I think Russia just needs to rush in. They need to just see the power go line. for it. Tower Nightmare's anywhere. doing it. He's he's moving pretty fast compared to what the uh, Russian forces were doing before. But he's trying to do it at the same time he's trying to keep cover. Doesn't want to give himself away. Yeah, it, there's not a lot of cover around this right now. No, definitely not. All right, push east from here. This might not be a good choice. Yeah. That's a lot east, of flat east, land. Getting pretty close to lawn darts, though. Three's gonna engage on objective right now. Russian force is trying to draw the attention away from the point. Not sure if they know nightmares here or not. That's close, that's close. Let's push this AR to the south. Yep, I'm under six. Nightmare moving in where he heard the shots from. Coming straight up on the back of Clay J. Clay J takes down Nightmare. That leaves Rated Red right on the militia rear. Copy. Bandaging, Wayne. Red Red taking his time. Possibly gonna get Clay J here, and Red Red takes down Clay J. That leaves Londards on his own alongside Lima Beam. And Red Red pushing back to relink with Kodo. I'm gonna push it for me. Hey Frosty, yep. you got comms? Yep, still got that uh that militia flank coming in behind Frosty. Frosty, you still have him? Alright, you see that hill? And uh, Frosty's looking towards the radio tower. All right, looking straight do towards Lawn Dark. Right here in front of us, 257 West, and then we're gonna wrap around that tree in the tower line, and we're gonna go right up behind that. Alright, let's go, follow me. Rated Red oh, has a right small in. plan trying to get up on the militia hey, force. They got eyes on it. Smoke it. Smoke it. I'm gonna put some eye smoke out too. Opening himself up to a clear view from lawn darts though. Oh, he's Luckily, got plus more gruffs running right straight towards him. Same with Merrick. Yes, Merrick. he does. I wonder if they know he's there or if they're just trying to wait for smokes. Trying to. Yeah, they know he's there. Yep, we got one up here. Got one up. And down goes Kodo. That leaves Rated Red on the, the rear all alone. Looks like the militia forces are closing in on him. Seneca, be advised, I just lost Friendly to the southwest of the objective on the ridge. Floss McGruff's trying to creep in on Raided. Is he going to be able to get Set there without copy. getting popped? Merrick probably just gave him away horribly. I wonder if we're waiting for these folks to fellow out here on the east side. So that Wayne Newton. Raided red. So Wayne Newton can do a push on the radio. Oh, nope, he's going to push back from it. And it looks like this is the last Russian forces that we've got rolling around. Uh, got four. Yeah, four of them. Lancelot, Wayne Newton, Hedda. No, not Hedda. That's a camera. And Liberal Pundit. And Frosty out there way to the southwest. Way out there. Wow.
Way out there, Morty. Way out there. Oh, you had to make that joke. Absolutely. Can we get a pickle mod? Yes. It's called a grenade launcher. <laughs> Tactical pickle out. <laughs> Bread and butter or dill? Mmm, I like dills. Ugh, damn it. I think I'm like the only person in the world that likes bread and butter pickles now. And That's... we're getting a cue. Yep. Russian forces are not moving fast enough for the event admin's liking. Right, so I'm either going to get lit up from the north or from the south, but I'm going. All right, do you have smoke grenades left? Save it, save it for the crate. Spicy pickles are good too. Come on, liberal, just run across the street, straight towards the radio. Do it. Oh, that's a bad idea. He's got lima beans staring straight out at his position. A great idea. Oh, this is not going to end well for liberal. I don't think it's going to end well for Russia, period. Yeah, that's true. Oh, liberal. I'm wondering if Frosty thinks he's last man. That's possible. He, I don't think he has command comms. Let's look. Oh, Liberal's trying to... Okay, oh, he's got go Liberal with him. North. I'm going to go right at him. You go north. Who, Frosty? Yeah, him and Liberal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Team, or same Ooh. squad. Ooh. I shouldn't have said his name. He's still yeah, alive, but he is getting him. shot by Fluffs McGruffs. Supposed to be on the last one left. I'm gonna run south and then east and then try. Yeah, he it. thought he was the last one. Yes, he did. Did liberal go down? Uh, yeah, liberals down. Lancelot's down. Wayne Newton and Frosty are left. Wayne Newton not looking too hot. Oh, he's still got a bandage. Frosty, me and you left. I'm bandaged. I'm going. And Newton is was definitely pinned. Oh. G733. And wait, Newton on Last his man. own. Ass man. Nope. Oh, not even time to do it. I need to stop saying people's names. <laughs> And yeah, that's uh, that's going to be GG for tonight. Operation Power Surge in the books. Thanks everyone for coming out. Really appreciate it.